Hello. Today we are going to dissect the ECPH transmitters EC and PH dozer, uh, which is based on Arduino. This unit uh, will monitor, control the EC and PH levels of any solution such as nutrients and uh, it's used in hydroponics mostly um, and the pH level is high and low and will adjust accordingly with the use of ferrostatic pumps um, and will stream the data to your computer either uh, connected to it with a USB cable or uh, there's a radio inside that's an option where you can have a radio and the, ra uh, the data will be transmitted to your computer uh, approximately 100 to 150 feet away uh, is a good range but it's not a Wi-Fi it's not a uh, Bluetooth it's just strictly uh, module to module a Zigbee uh, radios they communicate um, together so your unit comes uh, with uh, EC probe and a pH probe and a USB cable and a 12 volt adapter wall adapter 12 volts 2 amps the standard and a, a US uh, then we have the uh, USB stick which has the sketch you can load in your computer and uh, let's let's look at it let's see let's calibrate and let's let's see how it performs uh, first let's look at the unit it it's a Walmart unit three pumps uh, for EC pH low and pH high. The connections are done on the bottom as a labeled pH sensor goes in here, EC probe goes in here, and USB goes in here, and with the power supply right here. This is for the radio. Uh, we'll go over this. But if you uh, have the unit without the radio, you don't have to follow this instructions. And on the top, there's a calibration trim pots for pH 7 pH 4 and EC. Now you might notice that there's a dot that covers the 4 pH uh, trim pot which means uh, a factory calibrated already 4 pH and you may use just the pH cal if you know what the pH of your solution is like a fine tuning a one, one point calibration you can use this only do not use this uh, but if you have two buffer solutions then you may use two trim pots to calibrate and AC is only one trim pot to calibrate and uh, that's about it let's look inside okay you have the three pumps the green one you see this uh, EC and a pH circuit board and you see uh, uh, underneath it you see the Arduino Uno and we have on the right side we have the relay four relay channel a four channel relay board and we have the radio module on top so let's connect and let's see what's involved uh, let's look at the probes uh, this is a EC probe it's a submersible continuous monitoring and um, it has two meter cable it does have a, a, a plug that has a key on it so it only goes one way do not force into the hole it might break the pins but it's it's a one way there's a key in there you can plug it in and uh, the probe has a graphite tips and this is submersible and inline if you choose to by removing this cap you can connect to a half inch T and it'll become an inline electrode so it's pretty handy and graphite tips are good for chemicals it's pretty chemical resistant and uh, let's put the cap on because we're going to use submersible we're going to submerse it in our tank and uh, water the, enters the, through the chambers and it makes contact with the uh, graphites. It's a pretty handy probe. Let's connect the probe and the pH electrode. You can use any pH electrodes with the standard BNC 
in this case I'm using uh, or we are using actually uh, Milwaukee uh, double junction with again with the two meter cable uh, let's connect that and uh, USB cable this you will need this to uh, connect to your laptop you're gonna load the sketch and you're gonna set your settings your uh, set points now the factory setting is uh, for EC is 1.0, for pH low is 4, for pH high is high 7. Uh, but you need to change those settings to uh, for your own set, uh, setup. So let's connect this. Okay, and let's connect to our computer. I made the fonts big, you can see. Let's see. Uh, I already loaded the sketch so we don't have to go through that and uh, let's load a, let's compile okay done uh, we can go monitor serial monitor let's see oops As a timestamp, you can remove that, but uh, this will show you the stats of the pH um, and EC. Um, now let's connect the power to it, because your pumps will not operate un un unless you have 12 volt connected to it. But you can load the sketch without the 12 volts. Well, let's see. Let's connect the 12 volt power supply. And uh, we have lights, and currently we are reading the pH. Well, the pH is not actually in the solution, so let's put in 4 pH. Okay, and EC, we have it. tap water which reads 480 and let me see what's going on here I didn't hear the pumps and when I pull this okay. They all jump a wire, so we have to make sure everything's connected. Nothing's pulled out. Okay, so now we have EC on, pH low is on. So obviously pH low is on because it's lower than 4 pH. If we go above, uh, this pump will stop. And let's do that. Now, as you can see, pH lows off, pH highs off. The only thing that's on is EC because we are lower than 1.0 EC. And that's pretty much it. Now you can fine tune your calibration with the trim pots. Let's put on 7 pH. You need to uh, give some time for the probe to get used to the water, but uh, as you can see, it's, it's already reading seven, so I don't have to adjust anything. But we can we can adjust. Let's see, now the seven pH is on because I moved the unit. But if you just let it sit there and uh, 
We should not make any changes.